I welcome to the very important topic on test object model or test object method test object model or test object method to work with this test object model or test object method so let me give you a few introduction about the types of objects actually what we have this is a very important concept please concentrate on this now so here i am going to show you how internal architecture is designed so that qdp is identifying the objects properly so that we are going to see it so what's the use of that see here the self troubleshoot debugging so whenever the script runs fail if something problem in your script we need to debug by yourself so for the reason we need to know what's happening in the background okay so that i am going to explain you now we'll call this as a test object model or test object method so let's go ahead with that so before learning a test object model let's have a look on few things first like test objects logical name description properties and the runtime object runtime object okay so let's have a look on these objects actually what are those object i know you people know about all these things but let me uh, give a overview of it so let me add this information into object repository first so just i'm trying to add information of this username Here we go. Let me add this information into object repository. Go to resources, object repository. Try to add this username or else agent name information into object repository. Successfully done. So now let's start with few things. So what is the test object? What is test object? The first one. So test objects are the objects which actually represents runtime objects. Means the actual objects. The test objects actually exist in object repository. The objects which are in object repository are known as test objects. So test objects has few of description properties. Okay. Yes. What is runtime object? Runtime object is an actual object where we perform the activity so here what is a runtime object username is a runtime object basically where we perform the activity so this username is represented as 
agent name in the object repository as simple as that so what is the logical name the logical name is the technical name what is given to this object by the developer this username has been given as a agent name by the developer the logical name the name which is technically given to this object okay so this element has some name right so that is nothing but the logical name what is description properties every object has lot of description properties like if your object sprite will get a height of it text of it width of it so all those are the description properties right every object has lot of description properties in that your object repository stores only few of them so why it stores only few that we'll be discussing later on but the point is that we have a test objects so test objects are objects which represents the actual objects right so this agent name is represented by this this username element is represented by agent name in the object repository yes now logical name is a name which is given to a object by the developer description properties are the properties which object does has runtime object the actual object which is existing in the aud application under test if i ask my qtp to write agent name so where it write it writes in this field so this field is a runtime object okay now let's see how the communication happens between the script and between the logical name between the test object and everything so simple thing let me write a script here to write something in that agent name box for that just me drag this from the object repository and paste it here here we go let me take this to the side and uh, this is your application so let me show you how it works actually whenever i run this test so let me set as kira in that name agent name so when i run the test basically first it will try to match it will try to match this agent name text the logical name what we call it as with a test object with the test object name see so if it matches or else what i do is let me add few more objects to into object repository first okay, so i have lot of objects here now when i run the test first qtp checks for this agent name in the object repository under test objects so where is the agent name is this agent name no 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 here it got the agent name once the match is found it should be exact match try to understand this this should be exact match here agent name the same match it should get it 100% it should be one and the same once this and this matches once the logical name and test object matches it opens a description properties of that object which are stored in your object repository see here what are the description properties of that object it has listed only one description property that is div name division name or div name okay so using this div name it will try to identify the object and it will try to perform the activity on it so only using this div name agent name it will try to identify the object so if you have a list it will take the help of all the list of objects here yeah. so this is how the identification happens first the logical name and test object match once it is matching it opens a description properties according to the description properties it will try to identify the end application so this description properties plays a very very important role in identifying the element and performing the task on it this one okay 
so this is the div name called agent name so this object has a div name called agent name and it is unique so it identifies that and will try to write the things on it this is what the test object model is test object model so exact match here here it finds exact match it will move to the this sector and according to this it will identify object and it will try to write the script so let me run this this is what actually internally happens this is what we'll call it as a test object model very interesting topic but I have explained that in a simpler manner see here successfully it has written Kiran in that name box and your test has been literally closed clear yes now so let us uh, do much more practical things what i am trying to do is if i am change this agent name into just agent i am going to change this agent name into agent and this agent name is also into agent only agent and what happens if i run the test will it run or it will throw any error message so let us have a look on this if this is the scenario when i run the test see what is there here it's an agent right it checks for the exact match in the exact match in the test objects in object repository this is agent no this is not agent this is not this is not here we got the agent so match font once the match is found again it opens the description properties see here haven't touched any description properties description properties remains the same using description properties what is the element this is the element it will find the element and it will try to perform the activity on it as simple as that this is what the importance of your test object model so to open a description properties it takes the help of logical name as well as test objects okay and moreover just have a look on this i am trying to rename the test object into name you people please concentrate on logical name just have a look on this logical name before i change it see it has been automatically changed as name i haven't changed anything right so this and this now matches it opens a description properties Description properties remains the same according to the description properties. That is the object actually what I need to work So obviously it will work. Let me run this and show you Here we go it has written kiran successfully in this edit box this is how the identification happens this is what we'll call it as test object model or test object method very very important and interesting topic here now let's forward this uh, class and let me uh, let us uh, discuss few more things let's take this uh, name division name called agent name okay let's why it is identifying this agent name here using this option yes let's assume that there is an object which has div name other object so here it has the div name perfectly it is identifying let's assume that this even this password has div name called agent name if this both element has the same properties called div name then what is the case obviously it will throw an error message like on which div name i need to click right so in all the cases is this data what is given is here is sufficient obviously no if i give only div name there are chances that it may get conflict right yes so your text called okay let me explain you with this
if you are still confused with div name and all that kind of stuff don't worry now the same principle i will apply on ok button and let's have a look on this so how does it work actually if i want to click on that ok button your script will first run your script will first uh, whenever we run it let me draw it out here so ok is here it checks for the exact match where is ok so here ok 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 found and it opens its description properties so these are the description properties according to the description properties it will try to identify this ok button right as simple as that now what i am trying to do is i am going to change this this ok into sign in and even this ok into sign in and let's see how it behaves see here I am renaming it just try to rename and write it sign in automatically it will be reflected in the script also have a look on the script see here sign in sign in the basic principle remains the same even if I run the test what happens sign in it checks for the exact match here we got the exact match now once the exact match is opened it will check for the properties okay yeah according to the properties what is the object so this is the object it will try to perform the activity on it clear so text called okay i have only okay button so div name is okay button yes so let me run the test now now my concept is that if you have two okay buttons then what's the story okay it has clicked on that successfully and it is saying that login failed because I have given an invalid username and password. So your login is obviously failed. No worry about that. Now, the point is that if I have two OK buttons, then what would be the story? Let's assume that even this cancel button is also a OK button. Let's assume it for a while. Even this is also a OK button. Then what's the story? Once it will come to this location. It will check the properties and according to the properties like even this is okay and even this is okay on which object it should click either this or that it get conflict right yes so why to provide only two here if you use a object spy we'll get dozens of objects dozens of properties for each object right so why to take only these two so that we'll be seeing in the next session called object identification process in UFT. The very interesting and important one. So let's end this video here. And in the next, why QTP has taken only these two here? And what is the taking of two? What happens if it loads all the properties here? We'll have a look on this in our next coming video.